Carolyn, we're outside where Elias Abulazam lived, and the first murder occurred just about two blocks from here. This has just been a nightmare for Flint, and the victims tell me today they're hoping that nightmare is over. He hurt a lot of families. He hurt a lot of lives, a lot of homes. He ruined a lot of people's lives, period. So he should get, the, he should get life. He should get death. And in my eyes. I'm not relieved yet until he's actually behind bars and it's proven that this is the guy. Etwan Wilson and his family say they won't rest easy until the man who attacked and nearly killed him is locked up forever. 33-year-old Elias Abulazam was arrested in Atlanta while trying to board a flight to Tel Aviv. The Genesee County prosecutor says he has been living here since at least May, but has also lived in Leesburg, Virginia and Bradenton, Florida in the past. Abulazam has been staying on Maryland in Flint next door to his uncle. That's where police say they recovered his green Chevy Blazer with gold trim. Abulazam was tracked through a tip that said he had been working at the Kingwater Party Store, but told friends he had to go to Virginia. Although 16 of the 18 victims are black, the prosecutor still isn't calling these attacks racially motivated. They said I almost didn't make it. My heart stopped. My heart stopped. Twice. Before I got to the hospital and when I got to the hospital. It's just a tragedy. And I think that we ought to remember the victims of all this because, you know, we're in this, this, this manhunt to find the individual who did it. But you have real people who have died, you have real families who have been torn apart, and you have real families who are grieving. The prosecutor wants Abulazan back here as quickly as possible. If he doesn't fight extradition, he could be back in a matter of days. If he does try to fight it, it could take weeks. Live in Flint, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action News.